Hello, Aries. Happy birthday. Um, this is a reading for you guys. Um, this is 3333, Empress 33. Welcome back. Uh, if it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, right off the bat, stuff is flipping for you guys. Let me see here. It was um, the uh, Four of Wands and the Will of Fortune. So you guys got some luck coming your way probably to do mostly with where you live at your home okay it's apartment condo any kind of home situation is good it's going to turn good like if it was bad it's well i don't see it as being bad but i do see your home situation being really good or just having some kind of luck around your house whatever i don't know what this is but like it's just where you live at lucky if you're trying to get a house or whatever you're trying to buy you're going to be able to buy it anything to, concerning with the house you're going to have luck with that i see that Wow. Okay, guys. Aries. There goes your deck. It's gone. Sorry, guys. So maybe this uh, month, April, you could be having some confusion. Okay? Because the cards are just gone. Hold on. Let me see. Wow. Okay. Whole deck just went under the table. All right, Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. Okay, we had two cards. We have two of cups. We have seven of pinnacles. Okay, Aries, 2022. Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. What's in store for Aries? Okay, Nine of Swords. Okay. Look like you guys are uh, worried about a love connection here. I did see Seven of Swords. You're going to be happy at the end though. Okay, Aries 2022. Leo. Wow. Okay, so see in the back here, the bottom. What is this? Three of Swords? Yeah. First, the Aries I'm tapping into for this month, April 2022. You guys could be uh, suffering through a broken heart because it is sticking out with the moon. You don't know where you stand with this person. They, you know, they could have hurt you. It's obvious they hurt you. Um, so the rain. Okay. I, it was like this. All right. So um, I feel like it's, you know, it's. I don't know. I'm paying attention to the clouds and stuff. But I feel like you're crying about it or they're crying about it. If I feel like they're, um, they could be crying about how they hurt you, what they did, what they said. Um, with the moon here, you know, I feel like they just feel kind of like, I just feel that they feel sad. Here's judgment. Wow. And it's, okay, judgment came out. From the back when I set the deck down. Okay. So, yeah, the judgment is being called on them. It's not you then. You could be suffering from a broken heart too. But it's showing me more about them. Okay. It's showing me more about your person. Your person could definitely be a strong Pisces here. So, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the moon. And then for the three of swords, we have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But it's showing me the clouds and stuff. It's something about the sky or like a strong air energy coming through. So this person that broke your heart, they could be an air sign. It doesn't have to be. Take it as apply. But yeah, justice is here for what they did. Someone hurt you, okay? And um, they're uptight about it. They could be crying about what they did to you. They are sorry about what they did to you. Judgment is here. So they do want a second chance with you. I really see that they didn't mean to hurt you. Um, it feels like they they didn't know everything to the story. So like maybe, uh, you know, communication could have been off or something like that along those lines. Like they didn't really understand maybe what you were saying or what you were doing. They could have been insecure too because it's the sun and moon together. I feel like um, they're trying. They were trying to hide something, but light was shined on it now. Okay, Aries. So that's what I see for you. The judge, judgment is here, okay? So, they're, you know, I feel like on the other side, of course, spirit, they're pushing them, urging them to kind of come correct towards you, okay? 
Because right now, I feel like they're lost. They don't know what to do. They're stuck in some kind of illusion. And I think that's what kind of brought them to breaking your heart. Okay, Aries? But just, I keep wanting to say justice. So for, for a lot of you guys, you could be getting justice now. Or you're going to receive justice. Because this is a judgment card. But I keep wanting to call it justice. So you guys are receiving justice for this broken heart. If this person did break your heart, it could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, let's see here. Or Libra or air energy, okay? If they did break your heart, I see the justice being served for that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to pull you one more card. Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. Aries, April 2022. April 2022. One more card for Aries, April 2022. Spirit, angel, guardians, ancestors. There we go. We have the world. So you did. You completed a cycle. Let's see. What is at the back of the deck? Yeah, six of pentacles. Didn't I say that? Here's Libra's energy and things being balanced, things being justice. This is also Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. I feel like in the past they were like breadcrumbing you, weren't giving you enough attention or um, spending time with you or investing in you. Okay, Aries? And I also see that changing because we did see judgment. And there's justice. So, yeah, this person could definitely be coming back around wanting a second chance from you guys. All right? They really, you know, I feel like this time they would do it right with the Two of Cups. Because they're facing you. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is a good card to get. They also could want a house with you. Yeah, they want to invest with you right next to the Two of Cups. It's the Seven of Pentacles. They definitely want to invest with you, Aries. Beautiful. So if you're worried about this connection, I would say don't worry because they are coming back around. For some of you guys, it may be faster than others. Time is fluid. Take it as apply. Okay? Don't worry about it. Or it could be this other person's stress. But if you're worried about it, it's the message don't worry. You know, because the strength card is right next to that. And the seven of um, pentacles. So whatever you're investing in or if they want to invest in you, it's going to be fine. That's what I see. So don't worry about it. Um, this connection is coming back around. For for most of you guys, it is. Because it's the strongest message that just came out. So, yeah. They're saying you are strong. You have strength to endure whatever is going on in your life. Okay. Leo. So the energies we have is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have with the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You or the other person could be in the Nine of Swords is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, and Strength is Leo. In the World card, we have Leo again. We have Taurus, all fixed signs, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. I feel like this person really loves you, really attracted to you. And yeah, with the Two of Cups, it's such a deep bond. So this is someone you've known lifetimes and you've known a long time, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Whoever is resonating with... I see things being balanced and restored. I see something like literally, you know, rising again, rising Phoenix, rising from the dead. That's what I saw with the justice card. But I kept wanting to say, see, I said justice with the judgment card, excuse me. Uh, with the judgment card, it's just rising again from the dead. Something that was dead, old, you know, you thought it was gone and not coming back. It's coming back. It's going to be more fair, more balanced, more justice. It could be a Libra, okay? Same person. Let's split the deck, Aries, for you. Yeah, King of Swords. Okay, this is Libra's energy. Major Libra. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Are they watching you? Okay, I don't know why I thought I saw the Page of Swords. I don't know why. Like right here with the clouds. They could be thinking about you a whole lot. Like um, that's what I'm, I keep feeling like. I keep looking at clouds because I saw that with the Three of Swords. They could be thinking a lot about what they did to you. Um, it's verbal. It's like what they said to you and stuff like that. They see you as the lovers, okay? Jim and I. A lot of air in this uh, reading for you, Aries, okay? They really see you as their lovers. Um, they definitely have a high attraction to you um, physically. They want to be with you that way. Uh, very intimate. It seems like they are thinking about that. Yeah, they are. They want to come out of the cold with you. Five of Pentacles in the back behind the lovers it's five of pentacles reverse yeah they want to come out the cold with you because you're their wish okay 
beautiful so i do see communication coming for you guys in the month of april um 2022 aries from this person that could be a, a air sign heavy air energy definitely libra here with the six of pentacles and the uh air energy card here aquarius libra gemini it could be an other air sign but i see strong libra okay let me pull a room for you aries beautiful reading something is dead you know someone you're not talking with communicating with coming back around if it's not in the month of april it's time is fluid everyone so uh, i would be patient and i wouldn't worry with the nine of swords being here right in the smack center okay i wouldn't worry about it um and they could be having anxiety about you too wondering if you still want to invest in them okay you guys are protected okay okay i have sage i burn a lot of sage okay and this fell out right on this nine of swords so if you guys are worrying about something this first pacific somebody okay if you're worrying about something sage literally fell out on the nine of swords putting that right back on there you guys are protected so no worries aries okay okay what are the runes for one rune for aries march 2022 there you go They like to fly everywhere. Okay, what are the runes for Aries, March 2022? Yeah, you guys are protected in the month of April 2022. Okay, there's more protection or something going on like that because I thought, I think that was pretty unusual. I don't have sage in this bag with my runes, but it was in there and it fell out on the Nine of Swords. So take that as a fly, guys. Yeah, a lot of protection surrounding Aries. Okay. What is the room message for Aries, March 8th? I mean, April. Okay. What is the room message for Aries, April 2022? Room message for Aries, April 2022. A room message for Aries, April 2022. A room message for Aries, April 2022. Okay. Let's see. We have this symbol. Okay. Oh, protection. Perfect. All right, guys. <laughs> okay. So you guys can look this symbol up if you want. But it's it literally says protection. I just looked it up right here. What I have them all written down. And with the symbol and the words that I looked up. Okay. Wow. Okay, you guys are getting heavy protection in the month of April. All right, so we haven't made it into April yet. This is the end of March. Well, not really. We're close to the end of March. So I think it's like the 25th, 26th. I'm filming this today in March. So yeah, in the month of April, you're going to have a lot of protection, especially at night, okay? Because the sage fell right out on, you know, you guys could have anxiety or being up at night, can't sleep. And this is a message then coming through to you guys, letting you know you are protected, you're heavy protected. They want to get that message through to you guys. So, wow, this is a beautiful reading, you know, to know that you're protected. Um, so, yeah, I keep getting that. Don't worry, Aries. Whatever you're worried about going into this month of April 2022, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's your message. <laughs> so, yeah, Aries, um, if it resonates with you guys in any kind of way, shape, or form, please like, share, and subscribe. Till next month, take care. And yes, you guys are protected <laughs> this month. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.